Test, test, test. Test, test, test. All right, we're good. We're good, we're live. All right, let's hop in. So anyway, hey all, this is Nemo from Nemo Gaming and welcome back to my Twitch channel. A little bit of a change of plans. I just didn't feel up to playing Town of Salem this morning. Uh, I will eventually get to that uh, series, but uh, I just laughed at such a point in uh, Kingdom Come here that I wanted to get engaged in it again. Uh, so, here we are, uh, starting on that. Uh, we have a few tasks that we gotta do here, which is the reason why I named uh, the stream The People's Gopher. Um, you know, I have uh, the At Your Service, My Lady, which... Uh, the crown should be uh, ready soon. And I actually wanted to see if uh, I was going to deactivate this. I was going to go talk to Milan if I can find him. To see if there's uh, anywhere I can go and uh, get more fights. So I can get more Groshin. Uh, but before I exit out of this. Uh, main level, seven. I do have a few, uh, other things here. Uh, I saw one here. Manly Odor. <laughs> what? When dirty, you'll have 50% chance more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth. Okay, so basically you can be more charismatic, but you're smellier. Makes sense. Uh, it lasts 30% long without food, but the effects will be 26% worse. Uh, your stamina will regenerate uh, faster at night, but 10% slower at day. The sight distance of fast travel and evading by 10%. Okay. That's good for fast traveling. What did you say? I had a hiccup there. Um, you grew up with impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted for you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep. Uh... Increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy level falls one quarter more slowly. That's actually nice, but you probably can't stay asleep for as long. Penalties on stats below following release from jail. Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm planning not to be in jail, so no. And towns and villages in their immediate vicinity, you have a plus uh, uh, percent bonus in agility, vitality, and speech. Savage is in the wilds, so I like that. I like that for my kind of character. That's a uh, nice. Do I have first aid one or something? Yeah, I do. So I want first aid two because that's just a bandages are important. But the rest of these don't really uh, strike my fancy right now. Uh, but let's take a look at uh, strength and the like. Yeah, I'm wanting to hold on for Headcracker, which is one more strength level. Agility, I don't want anything of that. Vitality. Uh... What do I want? I don't know. Really, these things, a Sprinter and Marathon Man are opposites. And Thick-Blooded is nice. You bleed slower. Uh, but I'm holding off for a few other things. Uh, some of those are actually really good. So I'm going to hold off on that. And yeah, nothing for speech. What about combat? Oh, I got a defensive stuff. Blocking an opponent's strike with your shield. I don't have a shield on me right now. If you beat your opponent in a clinch, you'll damage his uh, weapon 50% more. A firm grip is looks nice, though. But what are these other ones? 
Your armor is uh, one third more frightening. In sunny weather, the glint of your armor will dazzle everyone so much. Oh, that's a nice one for my kind of character. I definitely want the knight in shiny armor. And well worn. And yeah, knight in shiny armor and well worn are very nice. Uh, I'm actually going to learn Blunt Strike, because I think yeah, that requires five, and that's when I get my next uh, perk point anyway. And I'm using a short sword, so stab, left slash, right slash is his combo. I'll have to test it out, but let's do a few of this other stuff. Yeah, I don't really want those yet. Horsemanship. Heavy duty pony. Your horse can carry more, but it's slower. Uh, I'll hold off on those. Hunting got another one? Oh, I already had that one. Ooh, reading. All books are cheaper in shops, and when reading, you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Uh, that sounds good. I do not want to get hungry or all that while I'm doing that. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you need your hat, man. But anyway. So, I want to find Milan. And then after that, I'll head to Sasau, and then up to Ushitz, and then finally to Tomberg. I'm hoping I can just pick up the store, uh, the, the Rowan. I don't know all that. I'm hoping it's not going to be, like, difficult. There'll probably be something I have to do, but I'm hoping it's, like, not much. But first, let's try and find Milan while we're here. Because I'm trying to burn up just a little bit of time to allow the guys in Sasau a chance to make the crown. Oh, you're Milan, right here. You, Henry? Is there any more fights for me? We're gonna get go for more fights. Let's fight. You put up quite a show last time, lad. Oh, jeez. Come on. I'm over here. Yeah, I know. Oh. Come on, throw punch. So is that really all it is? Is that I just fight them more often? Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take that Groshin back, but I am gonna ask him uh, if there's a uh, once he wakes up. And my clothes aren't really bloody either. That's good. So Milan, are you gonna stand up? Cause I gotta talk. I'm glad you came. 
time. Do we get any money out of that? No. Oh well. It was worth a shot. So basically it just means that I can come in and fight them whenever I want. Uh, so let's do that your service, my lady. Let's go and pick up the, uh, crown, hopefully. Hey, Pebbles. Hop on you. And let's make my way. So we're at Leta Cheko, then we got the trip from Leta Cheko to Sasau. Well, from here on, I can just avoid it. I want to run, dude. And here we are in Sasau. Oh, a shrine. So we're gonna make our way, see if we can pick up the crown. We should be able to, it's been a little bit of time. Gotta go this way, that's right. The entrance I'm looking for is over here. Yeah, Henry's come to see ya. So, can I pick up the crown now? Welcome, Henry. Yeah, welcome. Can I have the crown now? My respects to you. What about the crown? I'm a man of my word. Thank the Lord you... Alright, I got the crown. So now to pick up the last thing. requires me to go all the way up to Ushits. Oh, well, at least I'll uncover a little bit more of the map. Cutting through Tomberg. Bye bye. Out of the way, dear. I'm getting hungry, so I stop at uh Ooh shit, so I gotta see if I can find myself a pot of food. Oh, 
We'll head this way because this road's closer to where I want to go. But also keep an eye out for a pot of food. Other way. I tried steering it this way, but the auto wanted to go left. Any pots of food? I'm not seeing any. Didn't see any food. I'll get off here. Sorry, Pebbles. I feel quite hungry. Oh, really? So the horse trader is right here. What the hell? Yeah, I'm coming to talk to you, buddy. Jesus Christ, you crazy. I'm looking for the local groom. Well, you find him. The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, Chamberlain Dietrich said something would come. We have that miserable horse. We'll let you saddle it and walk him around the courtyard. But what do I do? That horse is supposed to be presented at a noble woman's wedding. It probably won't be appropriate if he makes a spectacle of his rider. Is there anything I can do? Try asking Vasha. For some reason, that devil horse listens to him. Then take the horse with you. Dietrich's a. All right. <gasps> so you're Vashak. Good day to you. I heard you have a way with the horse that unsaddles everyone else. Yes. I suppose I do. And how do you do it? How do you calm him down? I... I'm good to him. Uh, but how? Well, I want to treat the horse well too. But I don't know how, because I don't know him as well as you do. Will you help me? I... Sing to him. You sing, sing to him. To it. What? Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May to graze in the shade of the apple tree there. The first one is brown and the second is gray. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? That's uh, interesting. I know how it looks. Thank you. All right, end dialogue. Jesus, look where you're going. So mount the roan. It's over here. That's the roan. Uh... to sing <laughs> you're definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded two horses come roaming in the merry month of May raised in the shade of the apple tree there first so from out from here I want to take the left path that takes me literally just to Tallenberg
So yeah, I want to follow this path. Keep on heading on the right path until I reach Tallenberg. I am not going to go that way. That's asking for trouble. Unless, oh, that's how where I was supposed to go. I'm supposed to ask for trouble. This is probably the reason why the fast travel doesn't take this route to Ushits, even though it's faster. It's not exactly a direct route. I'm following the trail, right? Yes, I am. I'm actually just right outside Tallenberg now. Oh. Do you mind, sir, if I uh, eat from the pot? No? Thank you. So, boy. Want me to sing? <laughs> I'm definitely the first horse I've ever serenaded. Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there The first one is brown and the second is grey But shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Well, are you still gonna throw me off? Uh I believe there's a path right up over here. If there isn't, I'll just walk up the hill. There we go. Hello, hello. I've got a delivery. No problem, sir. Huh? Really? They want me to round, mount it now? Ah, oh, I had to move like two feet. Anyway, let's talk to Lady Stephanie. She seems to be upstairs. I've got all your stuff. God save. I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. Nothing serious. Nothing too serious. He was a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. But I've learned a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't... So I know how to calm down that roan. <clears throat> Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May. To graze in the shade of the apple tree there. Oh, how beautiful. I'm not surprised the horse... Anyway, 
I'll think about All right. Here's I the crown. The crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So, what's it? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. Find somewhere here to put it down. I hope you have no uh... problems. <laughs> I don't the, know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. This shirt was my father's. Oh? He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... but I... It's too right. What's more? I could never forget. Well then. What? Why not? And what if you're... He won't. Eh... Uh... I thank you, but I can't possibly accept such a gift. Besides, undressing in front of Sir Divish's lady wife is quite inappropriate. That's a shame. I'm sure you'd look... I'm sorry about that, Stephanie, but yeah. What are you doing? Uh, you closed the door on me. The shirt might look nice, but I don't want to, like, get caught doing something like that. Anyway. Groshen. How much Groshen do I have? 147.4. So she paid me. That's good. Um... If I can't repair stuff yet, I don't have the skill for it. So I guess that means a trip to the blacksmith? I remember Votava there, he's a pretty decent merchant. Well, I'm looking for the blacksmith. Uh, do I want to do scavenger? It's I am fairly close to it, so it wouldn't take that long. Uh, for now, no. Anyway, for um, the next part of the qu main quest here, I'll focus on that. I gotta look into the forest around Letacheco. For, uh... So I'm thinking the northern forest here, and more specifically, I'm kind of thinking it could either be here where there's like seemingly smoke coming out of the forest, or it could be here. There's a few places it could be. So going by this, I want to go here and I want to take a right.
So who are you? Can't talk to him, unfortunately. Kunhata, she's a herbalist with an alchemy bench. Fortunately, it does not look like my uh, location. So there's a camp there. And there's also that there. Uh, let me wait till it's daytime so I can actually see. I'm right by a pot, so I'm not really that worried about nourishment. Energy, slightly. Really? I can't eat out of this pot? I guess they don't like me enough to let me eat out of it. Do I have any food on me? I have a uh, embrocation. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, I know, for Henry. Starting to get hungry. Well, maybe we'll find something further down the path. Who's this? I'm poor. Not a single brush into my name. Please help me. Sorry, good sir. Okay, so from here, yeah, just keep following this path. And there it is, there's a little hut up ahead, I can see it. Woodcutter. Figured as much with all the fallen trees, but I still have to check to see if these are my guys. There's two of them, that's a good sign. Oh, there's more than two. I could do with a bite to eat. Okay, th yeah, there's a pot of food here. Can I eat from this one? I can. But yeah, this does not look like where I need to be. So... Gonna make that marker there. Since we're going into the trees... Oh, just realized I'm not wearing equipping my sword. For whatever reason.
But yeah, if I'm going into the trees, I'm not going to, uh... Take my horse. You could sleep here? Huh. Not that I need to. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother. So they're not here, unfortunately. Hmm. That's a little far from Let it Checo. So is that's on a main road, so I don't think they'd be on that place. There's a smoke thing there, but that's kind of on a main road, so I don't really think that would be them either. I'm thinking there might be something along this path here that I haven't yet discovered, but just to double check, I'm going to go to Let It Check Out. See if I can find the bailiff from there. Or maybe I just need a better reading skill to actually read the stuff. Anyway, I gotta get rid of that. I do need more energy, but I also need to go to the blacksmith, which is on this side. Oh, this is where there's some lodgings. And baths. Who are you? Vatsik? Jesus Christ, be praised. I'm looking for a fellow called Riku. Do you know him? You mean Hinnick? He's the Tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? I don't know. Try it at his folks' house. But it... All right. So the Tanners. I'm thinking that's gonna be near the. Uh... Blacksmith. Yeah. So 
So it's his son is Riki. Jesus Christ, people. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Shit. Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every talk? Uh... Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He but this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like, like he was in a hurry. I wonder why. Where he went. I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. Okay. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods. But he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on. But it's better than nothing. Thank you. Let's ask Do you have any clue at all where it is? I really don't know nothing about How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Alright. Alright, end dialogue. So the innkeeper, who it's the lodgings, I gotta go there anyway because I need to rest. Uh... I'm gonna laugh if that camp that I was in, way over uh, here where the smoke is, is actually Riki's hideout. I am gonna laugh legitimately. There's the bass, but where's the lodgings at? Ah, right there. Where the B is. It's covered by my giant A on the compass. That's the bath. This is the lodgings. Hey there, good sir. Need some intel, and you're gonna give it to me. Good day to you. I want to ask about the courier's son. Hint but ask someone else. He only drives my customer. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnett's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Buying from poachers is a crime. The deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. Yeah. Just give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? Well, first his hideout. Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Yeah, how, how much? Not much. A few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. 
There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck. Okay, so... Yeah, I said saw that one, and I was thinking that that might be his hideout. There's one there. That's the one I'm probably going to investigate first, just because it's so close by. And there's one there, too. Not that far from where I was. Wow. But I'll start with C because it's the closest to the town. Then I'll head to D spot. And then if I need to find something else, I'll have to head to B. And by the looks of it, the only way to really get there... There's no real path to get to it. You pretty much have to hike uh, through the forest. But first, since I'm here at the innkeeper's shop, I need some energy, buddy. So I'm going to be staying the night here. Have you got a bed for the night? Aye, there's room. For how long? Uh, for one night. Just the one night? Sure. But let's see. I'll only paying two groschen. Yeah, I'll pay. There you go. You'll like it here. So where's my bed? Where do I go to sleep? That's easy. As soon as you go indoors, at the end of the room on the left, there's a door leading to the chamber. Every All right. As soon as I go indoors. Yeah, this is it. Figured I'd just check. All right. So we know where Riki. Oh, uh, we know one of the three places where Riki is. So let's sleep till about one. That'll give me plenty of energy. And it should save my game. And I should be able to investigate the first mine shaft that I want to investigate. Before night falls. And I have to pass by the blacksmith anyway as well, so... That's also very nice. What horrid weather. So yeah, you. I need uh, potentially for you to repair my armor. That's 63.7 Groshen. The hat's not something I can just do. So... Yeah, let's haggle a bit. 
Can we do something about... Sure. Agree? Agree. Hmm? Well, now, a little more and we'll shake on it. A little more, huh? Let's say... 88. Finally, a reasonable sum. Yep. I still have 57 point for Groshin. So I believe it's that path, yeah, to the left here. Other way. Now, if I'm lucky, it'll be the first one. Ah, so no, he's not living in this one. So I will fast travel to let a checko. So I kind of want to go on the other side of uh, the bass here. And hop on these paths. Because I'm right. I believe it's this path here leads pretty much straight to the mine. So I should be able to investigate two of the mines before uh, all is said and done. Left or right? F uh, f left and then a quick right, the next intersection. So this should be the right? Yeah. And I believe I go... L yeah, left.
Got another rank in horsemanship. That's nice. Of course it's not this one either. Uh, of course. Has to be the one that's exactly the most pain in the ass to get to. Uh, of course it has to be. Couldn't be the smooth one. Instead, it's, nope, we're going to make you go to the one that uh, you're going to have the hardest time getting to. Well, let's start making my way there and I'll look for my, uh, any food pots I can eat out of. Actually, I'm right by a baker. So, miss. I wouldn't mind some baked goods. What's fairly decent bread rolls? Didn't want to feel like there's a point to haggling that. 63. Nourishment. Alright. Don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, help investigate that little bit, but there's no, uh, path that leads to it. The best thing I can really do is just go straight to it. Get up that little bit of a cliff. So he has to be in this mine shaft. Of course, because it's the one that's hardest to get to. And honestly, like, I could see it on the map a little bit before, and I had a guess that. His hideout was here. That was one of the places I was thinking about looking, but I'm like, uh, I'll ask, see if I can find information in Let It Check. Oh, I was going to talk to their bailiff, see if he knew anything about it. And this one is inhabited. It 
but he's been killed. Jesus Christ, what am I to do? Not that I can expect any useful advice from you. At least, you have no more cares. Need someone to talk to? Fuck! No, don't kill me. I, I can explain. I won't tell anyone. I swear, I've no one to tell anyway. Just please don't kill me. I'm not planning to kill you. You're, you're not one of Runt's men? No. Well, then who are you? I'm looking for Runt. I come here in the name of Sir Radzik Kabila and Sir Hanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. I've got no idea what you're on about. Well, save your breath. If you want any chance to escape the gallows, you'd better come clean, all right? Jesus Christ. This will never be over. So? Fine, then. Yeah, tell me everything you know. That Neuhof raid of yours didn't turn out quite as planned, did it? Depends on whose plan you're talking about. We were up to it to grab some loot and bugger off. Only Runt's cutthroats was there to shed blood. What do you mean, Runt's cutthroats? There were two gangs there, mine and Runt's. We was only there to steal, but they wanted to slaughter everyone. But when you realized what they had in mind, you didn't have to go along with it, did you? But we didn't know nothing, even though we were going to Neuhof. They told us to keep watch on the courtyard while they were cutting the horses' throats. Jesus, that fucking vexed me. Their horses was the most valuable thing there. When I spoke up, though, Runt gave me such a bollocking, I knew I'd better keep my mouth shut. And when they said we was going to kill anything that moved, then we knew there was no going back. Um. That gang of yours, what can you tell me about them? I know Loop, uh, Limpy. What you want to know. There was four of us. Me, Timmy, Limpy Lubosh, and Pius Pavel. Sometimes we'd rob a place or hold up pilgrims. Never nothing fancy. I'm sure you did mischief enough. Who led you? Pius. He was the oldest and he'd mostly find the jobs for us. Plan them and the like. He got us into that fucking mess in Neuhof too. Well, and he's also the guy that lost his ear. Timmy's strong as an ox with a brain to match. You got more sense out of a fence post. And Limpy. I've been with him the longest. He's my one and only friend, I suppose. Who got your two gangs together? You must have made contact somehow, right? Pius. He comes to us and says he's got this prime job. We're going to rob a farm, he says. Well, that was a big deal, because mostly we just did small stuff. A hold up on the road now and then. Nothing fancy. When they told us how much we could make on it, well, we just couldn't refuse. So Pius knew them? I yeah. suppose, but I don't well, yeah. know where we are from. We even got paid up front. I should have known from the start it was too good to be true. Yeah, where are Timmy and Pius? You saw Limpy, right? Yes, but he's no use to me now. Tell me where I can find Pius or Timmy. I don't know nothing about Pius. He vanished in the woods, and I haven't seen him since. Timmy, I reckon, went back to the mill where he worked. Which mill? The windmill a bit north of Neuhof. Really? Really? I could have just went and got information just north of where the attack happened. Wow. Did you know any of Runt's people? Not a word. They didn't talk to us at all. None of their faces was familiar either. The only thing I know is they called that huge chief of theirs Runt, and Pius warned us to watch out for him. I don't suppose you know where they got to after the raid? On the way to Neuhof, Timmy told me he was at their camp with Pius. I reckon that's where they've gone now. Okay, so I gotta track down Timmy to track down Runt. Did Timmy tell you where the camp is? Somewhere in the woods. He didn't say nothing more. Thing is, Timmy's got quite an imagination. But 
Caius roared at him to shut it, so I reckon there must be something in it. Describe the raid in detail. The raid went down. Um, well, we stormed in from the rear. Runt's people started slaughtering the horses. Jesus, that was bleeding horrible. Meanwhile, me and Limpy had a sniff round the stable to see if we could find anything worth pilfering. And in the end, we got lucky. What did you find? Smill, Sir Hanisher's groom. I don't know why he was up and what he was doing in the stables, but we took advantage of the situation. Limpy grabs him by the throat, and I slapped him round to encourage him to tell us where the money was. Then it all fell apart like the sea, quicker than you'd believe. Runt comes running up and skewers the groom like a pig for roasting. My jaw dropped. I thought the stuff about killing was just tough talk. And it wasn't? No, it wasn't. No, not in the least. What happened then? I'm gaping at Smith, stuck through and through, and I noticed this boy standing at the other end of the stables. The stupid sods pointing at us, jaw hanging down to his knees, saying, I know you. Run turns to us and hisses, take him down. So me and Lubosh start running, because the lad took to his heels. At the same time, you could hear the noise of the skirmish in the courtyard. We caught up with the boy at the next farmhouse. Knock him to the ground, but he bashes me with some piece of iron so hard my head's ringing like a fucking church bell. Limpy grabs it off him and stands over him with his bodkin in his hand, and I start praying. In the end, Limpy just gives him a kick and says, Beat it, Ginger. And then Runt shows up at the gate and hollers that we gotta go. So we scarf it. All right. What happened after the raid? We were waiting for that fool, Timmy. Same place as we met them before, so you'd know where we were, right? Stupid fucking idea. But Pius didn't want to leave him behind. Only when Timmy finally turned up, two of Runt's men were dragging him. There was some difference of opinion. You could say that, yeah. They started on us right away that we were traitors. They knew we'd let somebody get away, and now we were going to pay for it. They started trying to surround us, and we knew what was coming. But Limpy took his bodkin and let that fucker have it in the belly. Run. No. The guy that was... free from them, and we all took to our heels. Luckily, they were so bucket from the raid, they didn't follow us for long. They just shouted that they'd find us. That'll do. That's all I need to know. Well... people we've got to get out of here they're too close we'll never outrun them fuck at least they get the right idea the two of us can take them by surprise no fucking way i'm gone look here if you run they'll catch up with you and kill you and me too together we stand a better chance that we do jesus christ all right. I suppose you're right. Time for a fight. Who's there? The you're answer's in the wrong my place. place. That's what wrong you time. Just when I wanted it. I'm going to enjoy this. Come on then, Forrester. Oh, jeez. Did he die on me? He did, didn't he? I had to kind of let them kill me there. I'm hoping there's a... Come on, do it. Finish me off. I'm hoping there's a save spot closer to it. Like, yeah, there we go. Hey, who's there? 
What are you doing here? Power to light. Move it. Oh, jeez. Did he die already? Bring it on. This guy here is the big issue. Ah, uh, come on. I got one. You're in the wrong place. The wrong time. He turns up willingly for the slaughter. You're dead. So he's running. There we go. Poor Riki. I tried to save you, man. The thing that has the most value is these leather gloves. So if I take them, is that classified as stealing? No, it isn't. Got a couple more things I gotta loot. What I thought, but where did their bodies go? Oh, here's one. Uh... 
I'm actually going to take a lot of this stuff and I'm going to transfer most of it to my horse. That's one. Is this him here? It is. Max weight carriage. All right, so now I know I have to go north of Neuhof to a mill. How north Neuhof? Oh, that mill. Actually, it's pretty much just south of Tallenberg. Um... I believe Rate is where I have the best uh, intel and stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go to Rate here. Partially so I can uncover that last little portion of the map that was right there. I'm also here at my house, so I'll stop off here and, uh... Go to sleep. Save. That's important. And then I'm going to go deal with Hagen, not just because Hagen is a, a just general traitor, but because I've helped him out getting uh, cooks and water carriers. And uh, I know the cook is a good cook, so he's probably uh, really happy with me. So I'll wake up now. And yes, I am really hungry, I know. I got plenty of food on me. And there's also this pot here. My nourishment's at 56. What's my lowest condition food is some bread rolls. All right. Give me plenty of nourishment. Wash myself off. So yeah, I'm wanting to deal with Hagen because I figure out of all the merchants, he probably uh, likes me the most. 
I could sell this stuff to, like, the uh, miller there, Peshek, but... Hagen probably just likes me the most of all the merchants. And you can also see my water carriers are at work. Good day there, sir. I also want to talk to, um... Welcome, Henry. Captain, uh, either... Like, I want to talk to the people, like, uh, Sir Radzig, or maybe, like, uh, Captain, uh, Bernard, and see if I can get, uh, back up for, uh, the mill here with Timmy, because if things keep on going like this, then I feel like, uh, stuff's gonna occur. Oh, hey, Hagen. How are you, sir? Good day to you. So are you pleased hey. with... Are you happy with your new cook, Merchant Hagen? Happy? It's a fucking nightmare. Really? What's the matter? I she certainly knows how to cook. Stories? More like Stop sermons, saying. actually. All about... No doubt, Father Francis was a saint. Well, the main thing is she knows how to cook. True. Her trout braised in wine with salt, and she can manage all the housework. Well, I'm glad everything turned out well. Godspeed. Anyway. So, yeah, I got to buy some stuff from you. Oh, he does not have enough money for it. Uh... So I'll sell what I can with him. He has about as much money as I do. Add the basket, add the basket, add the basket. <laughs> Gonna deal with as many of these traders as I can. So there, sir, you're a traitor. There's a quest giver over here. I want to talk to them and see what's up. Uh, he's got 140. Is that there? Ooh, noble shoes. 
I definitely want to equip that over what I have. I'm gonna lower my price. Gonna lower it. Can we do something about why not? Cause it'll make him like me more. Here. Well now, thank you very Give him a little bit of a discount. So, so this lady needs help, so I'll talk to her. What do you need help with, Soothsayer? Young master, the good lord in his infinite wisdom gifted me the power to know the fate of men. But Fine then. Why not? Things will get worse, and then they'll get better. God has his own. It's written in your... Thank you. I thank you. God be with you. Oh, I thought she's not actually the person. But yeah, we got to do some more stuff to sell here. Oh, I can't sell that stuff to her. Are you deaf? Oh. I didn't know what did I do? Why? Such are my orders. Search me. If you insist. Nothing. So I didn't do anything. He just wanted to search me. How's my sword looking at like 97? That's pretty good. God save you. Do I have to go upstairs or? Have they not opened their store? God be with you, or is it just right here? See, I don't know why I was stopped for no reason. I was. Really I'm weird. What can you do? Ah, uh, oh, you've got plenty of wealth there, bud. Oh, but I can't sell this stuff to you. But how much Groshen do I got? I got a lot too. Oh, I want to repair, not trade. Can't repair that stuff because they're so badly damaged.
Let's negotiate the price a little. Let's talk about that. Satisfied? Well now, Good day, a little Henry. more and we'll shake on it. A hundred? <laughs> you read my mind, sir. I'll go for that. So I need to do some more repairs. I also gotta find myself a better, uh... Some other armor and all that. My respect. How about repairs? So he can do it. So let's haggle a bit. Let's talk about the price. Naturally. Are we agreed? Yeah, we agreed. Well, a little. What the hell are you doing? Aye, that would do it. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Yeah, I have. And I have some stuff I want to sell here too. Actually, actually, first, now that I got my armor repaired, I am going to take a look at, uh, well, except for the gambesons, but I'll get to those later. I do want to wear the noble's shoes, because I think, yeah, my working boots, it's much better. And they give off a better impression. But anyway, 14 and 15. Five and five. So I might as well keep the hunter's gloves because they're the exact same, but these ones sell for more. Seven. Oh yeah, this is much better. Plated gloves. Add the basket, add the basket, add the basket, add the basket. Add the basket. I'll hold on to the gambus in for now. Because I'm holding off onto all the cloth. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I should have bought some stuff too. Would have made it so much easier. Hauberk is what I'm looking for. And it costs one keg. Uh, so the short common hauberks. And then there's just like your standard hauberks. We do something about I Is this enough? Yeah, is that enough? Well now. God be with you, Henry. Finally. So I'm wearing some more decent armor. But I do have some stuff I want to repair. God be with you, Henry. And look at this, a tailor. Who just who I needed to talk to. I also think he's the guy that needs help. Either him or the bailiff upstairs. How about repairs? I selected it all. Only that much? Eh. Yeah. So yeah, I think it's the... Uh, Bailiff is the guy wanting help upstairs. That's Sasau.
Long Talbert. That's Rete. Look where you're going. Yeah, it's the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the, uh, bailiff wanting help. But what's the extra stuff I'm... There's something else I'm carrying that is maybe some of the bandages I got? No, I only got three. Um, was it the main level that I was looking at? No. Vitality, maybe? No, maybe it's warfare. Or defense. Yeah, it was knight in shining armor and well-worn. This is the stuff I was wanting. Slash, slash, stab, stab. I think the hauberk is what's weighing me down more than anything. Um, I think I'm going to go with mule one here. Because I get headcracker at eight. But I'll get uh, a perk point for that. So I'm going to go with mule. I can carry a little bit more. And look at that, I got enough. I'm gonna save a little bit more space, move that to the horse. 
Move that to the horse. And that. Move that stuff to the horse, and I'll just keep the apples on hand for now. Alright, now let's go talk to the bailiff. By the looks of it, he needs hand. Oh, I also need to talk to a cobbler, I would think. Because uh, noble shoes, yeah, they're like half destroyed, so... God be with you. Yes, with you too. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Don't yes. even talk to me. Uh, why was he so pissy? I didn't do anything to upset him, did I? Uh, Rete. The refugees are at 46. The soldiers are at 60. Huh. Just means there must not be anything going on. But he sounded so pissed. Hello, Alex. God be with you. How are the refugees? Open? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Redsig took you into his service. I knew you... Uh, I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I... W I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so... Yeah, I'm no you, you want me to bring you game from the woods? No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here. A few of the burghers have been to see me already. To ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. But I was thinking. Sorry, but I've already gotten myself into... Yeah, I'm not gonna go poaching. That's against the law, buddy. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to go talk to see if I can talk to Sir Radzig. Uh, see if I can get, and if not him, Captain Bernard. To see if I can get some reinforcements for, uh, going to this mill. And you too. Uh, I have to seriously sneak up to get up here.
Oh, it's hands. God bless you. What troubles you? How oh, yeah. is it, sir? Are you recovered? I am. For all the good it does. The only thing I have to read is the... This world is but a trial. Be repentant. Actually, talk to me as if I were already... Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rattay Bar? I, I need a... Uh... For how long? How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. But in the evening, fun. Uh, how about your wounds? about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather... Ho sure, well... Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away, but wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come... So I could not see Sir Radzig. How much Groshen do I have right now? 445. Much more than I had before. So by dusk, I'm assuming he's meaning like 8 o'clock-ish. Well there, Hans. God be with you, Henry. Wait a little bit, hoping for him to move. Yes, yes, you too. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You want something from me? Good day, Henry. So I'm assuming this classifies as dusk. He's just standing there. Yeah. Look, we're trying to do this.
We are freaking stuck. God save. Just gonna sleep. Is he seriously still stuck? What? What the hell are you doing? Getting you to move. Jesus, look where you're going. Be a bit more careful. God save you, Henry. Seriously, dude. Alright, well, if he's gonna be like that, I'm gonna go and get some distance, hope that he, uh... I'm just gonna stay here and hope that, uh, I get some time. Uh, Therese, I'll fucking want in too. What the? I'll sleep for as long as possible. And I'll get up and eat. And now I will wait till six.
and see if I can talk, uh, get, see if the guy's uh, loaded in somewhere else. You're still stuck. Welcome, Henry. Welcome, Henry. I guess I'll start a bath thing just to see. I'd like to make you. So what are you? I was going to full service. But of course. Fine. I'm sure you'll be. Exp So bath can be used to heal. Seriously though, like this quest is bugged. Welcome, Henry. So you gotta move? Hey, Henry's come to see you. I'm gonna try and move pebbles to see if I can use it to move them. Hell, it moves them. Good day, Henry. God be with you, Henry. Okay, yeah, so this quest is bugged. But just to check, I'll wait an hour. Yeah, he's still just sitting there. How are you, Henry? Well, I'm kind of pissed because I can't do this quest with you. What time is it? 1.14? What is over here? I've never really fully explored what's in here. Ah, it's a tanner. Yeah, I'm probably just going to save and then turn it off, because 
if he's gonna be like this, I don't care if I fail that quest in the future. I'm gonna go see Teresa first. I just want to see what time. Would you like to get up? Yes, it was. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of her gallant defender every day. But I can't right now. Will you? Well, I will uh, check back with that later. For now, we'll go and. Uh... We'll go and save. And probably end the stream, because this has been going for about two hours. A little bit over. And who knows, maybe after doing uh, that quest, like this, you know, let's, uh, maybe after doing this, the, um, whatchamacallit, the other quest with Hans will fix itself. I am gonna look on into it though to make to see if it is actually bugged or not. But I'll have to be something I do after my stream. But as for what I'm gonna be, uh, as I said, I'm gonna be wrapping up the stream here. But as for what I'm gonna be playing uh, tomorrow, is I'm actually gonna take a break from this so I don't burn myself out. And I am going to be playing, uh, uh, continuing on my, my Let's Play series of uh, Xenoblade. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the video, follow me on Twitch. Trying to get to the 50 followers. You know the drill. And this has been uh, Yumo from Yumo Gaming. And this is me uh, signing off. Uh, later.